Hello YouTube, this is React City, I'm Steven. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is Boba Fett, episode 1, chapter 2, 2. So, mm -hmm. so last time we had an epic fight, Boba Fett is looking pretty beat up, but yeah. maybe we're going to get to see how he escaped the Tuscans or got accepted by them. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll see more of that backstory. Mm -hmm. Anything that you guys are expecting from last episode? We're going to find out, like who these people were that attacked him, maybe, from the, the captured person that Finnick got. Mm -hmm. May or may not reveal some stuff. Mm. And, hmm? and we will probably see repercussions of people seeing that in the village or wherever they are. Both the of them being weak in the middle of the streets like that? Yeah. Mm. I'm thinking it's going to be a red herring that is the major Domo's guys, and it's going to actually be the bartender lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. But yeah, so guys, thank you guys very much for being here. Guys, like your time here. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Check out Patreon in the description if you guys want to help us out or you want to see other shows we have a whole week early. And we will have an uncut, uncut version of this up later. So thank you. See you in the sky. Yeah, I forgot about that. Those people. The horseshoes. In retrospect, I think maybe he wasn't even going to that place and he just saw smoke in the distance. Ooh, this is the thing. Uh, about just like dragging people to the desert handcuffed. <laughs> I will say it feels bare. I feel like there should be more people here. Yeah. Well, there's just establishing themselves, so. Yeah. He doesn't care. <laughs> Hatties. Hatties. What do we know of this prisoner? He is of the order of the Nightwing. Mm. <laughs> they have a rancor? Oh! Is the rancor still there? Oh. Jabba's one is dead. I guess he does fear the rancor. Rancors are terrifying. Um, you would have seen his legs by now. There's nothing there. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a rancor. Lol. <laughs> it's an actual mouse? Okay, so it was a mare. Yeah. No red herring. Just straight to the point, I guess. What if at least expanded your bodyguard troop? Yeah. There's a lot of, um... Them. Mm -hmm. ah, I forgot. Trandoshans. Trandoshans, yeah. Ooh, I like the design on the roof. Yeah. Curves inward. Yeah. Very nice. Um, you don't see Do me. Do you have an appointment? Do you have an appointment? I knew it. I knew it. Uh, we don't see your name in the schedule, so you'll have to... Uh, <laughs> pardon me, do you like pomp for your entrance? However, I did not see your litter alone. Everyone's like, where's your litter, though? Silence. Apology for the intrusion. <laughs> Immediately. He's like, right there. Oh, cool. Uh, I forgot what these guys are called. That's his mouth over there. Yeah. People, Bubba. He's just so like sure cool. of himself. <laughs>
Nope, they're here. With a litter. <laughs> <laughs> they have a litter. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but if I start hearing sounds in the distance and everybody gets quiet, I'm running. <laughs> yep, here's their litter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they're huge. It's too. And gross. You see, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Everyone's in awe. How do you even... That's too few people. No. <laughs> <laughs> The people are suffering! Is, I don't care what is that? Says. This is my fan spot. I am here. Oh. He, he, what is that? Is he, he's, oh, he's, he's wiping himself, himself with, with, with a mouse! Wait, is that a Wookiee? Oh, oh no, no! It's a Wookiee warrior, too! Dude, I think that guy's from the comics. Really? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. I think. This territory is mine. Your cousin Jabber is dead. This cowardly major domo usurped this territory, and then I killed him. All that is his belongs to me now. This is Douglas. Your sister is right. If you want him, you have to kill me for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lady's mouth is open like that. Mm. That guy has the easiest job. Mm -hmm. Which one? I want to be the guy with the drum. Oh, the drum guy. <laughs> Although, imagine you miss a beat, they get super angry. <laughs> How did you get so close? That is a great prop for especially if I don't know what that is, but it looks great. Yeah. Teaching them their style. <laughs> He's cleaning up though. His head is not as like gross. Firmly grasp it in your hand. <laughs> Firmly <laughs> grasp it. Like, good job. Oh, the little kitties. They're like, oh. Everybody's watching. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Food! Is that what they were looking for or they, were they farming for water? Hmm. And the bantha won't have it. The bantha is always, always the problem. The oh train? no, it was a train. Is it the empire? Oh! oh it killed the bantha. The bantha! What the heck? Why is it just attacking the Tuscans? That was so mean. <laughs> oh, they lost people. And this is a small tribe, too. Yeah. Literal drive by. In the desert. In the <laughs> desert drive by. Wow. Oh, they lost oh, a lot of people. Wow. Chuck them on there. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. It's like. Rather irreverent. Just chuck Aww. him on the pile of bodies. <laughs> Get a suit back and catch up to them. <laughs> By morning. <laughs> oh, it's Trandoshan. No. No, no. No? I think oh. this is just a random bar out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that they came back to. Mm hmm. Oh, really? Don't piss off the biker gang. What do you think you're gonna do, bro? Dude, value your life. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you need new clothes. Yeah. He's about to get some. Give me <laughs> your, your shirt, your shoes, <laughs> and your boots. <laughs> They just know he's trouble. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. One. Stick and rifle. 
Use the actual stick, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he broke it. Did he break it. the rope? Because he, he went berserk. Stick. <laughs> no, he can't shoot. Apparently. Ah! Did, does it exist there? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, wait, should I go there? It's expensive glass. Bye. Glad I enjoyed the drink. He just while. like wiped the glass away. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, did he take all oh, he of them? All of them. Nice. nice. <laughs> now I can form a posse. I broke oh, the stick they found it. I broke the <laughs> rifle. Sorry yeah. about that. Oh, they might actually legit shoot him. Yeah. Can't tell who it is. It's bald man. It's bald man. It's bald man. <laughs> it's our bald man. <laughs> so bro, immediately like a rip it apart. Mine? I thought it was for him. <laughs> yeah, if it's not his, they'll just tear it apart. Uh, He's like, it's yours. It's mine, it's mine! <laughs> this makes it stop. Go stop. Oh dear. <laughs> you and you go first. <laughs> I ain't going first. You might want to. Go. Stop. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that wasn't even an option. <laughs> <laughs> Learn by doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so go do it. Oh, oh, close. Oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> then he jumps up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Is that the chief trying to jump? No, that's somebody else. Yeah, somebody else. Oh, you almost didn't. Oh, yeah! Nice. I mean, the Jedi make it look so easy. Yeah. The thing is, they probably wouldn't even be willing to learn this new method if it weren't for what happened. Yeah. Whoa! Ooh. Whoa! Oh! oh. <laughs> Close, but no cigar! Oh, that was cool. The train! Alright. Two, four, six, eight. Tenable. Music. That makes sense too, it's a swoop bike, but scaled up. Yeah. Oh, oh still no. got some people. Oh no. Oh, oh no! Run! Run, child! Yay! Alright. They set up. Nice. Oh. Ooh. They're good shots, they yeah, are. Yeah, snipers. Yeah. Stay on. There you go. Oh, oh no! no! Two got on. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. You gotta get back on though. Yeah. Because the thing is, gonna go. is very on fire. Oh. So they both. made nice. it! Why didn't you take a rifle? Just because you gotta show a... how good he is with the stick. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, that's scary. He's hurt, but he's not dead. Yeah. Hiding behind a tiny. Oh, oh yeah, there's one the, left. It's the girl guy thing. The girl it thing. It seems like a girl it's to a me. Girl. Yeah, it seems like a Because the, the, the fla flowy things make it look like they want it to look like a girl. Well, I'm just basing off the shape. Oh! And the shape. Oh, Whoa, dang. Showing that. Oh no! Oh, engine powering up! <laughs> oh, oh no! Punch it! Punch it! Had to use all of the arms! In! Oh! Whee. Oh yeah! Oh. That's Get what em. we want! Get him real good! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> okay. Deal with them too. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where'd the stick come from? Oh, it she has the stick. stick. Always has stick. Get down! Don't get, too close, don't get, too close. get down! Aww. 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 Stop with the nose! I'm stabbing stuff. Just jump out! <laughs> so he, he like send it up super speed and then. Does he survive? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> So you use the strength of the lever. The, what, what are they Tuscan? Lever the lever. All right, now. Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and look, they got stuff. Yeah. Time skip, I guess. Goods. Ooh, new ones. Blasters. Fair to be honest. Okay. Now walk. Dinner is. Look at them, like, nice. oh. Guys, guys, guys. Put the, kinda put the cap the back water. on. Guys, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> guys. It's infinite. <laughs> Respect game. We got sick forever. <laughs> it's poisoning him from the inside. He's like, like, yes. <laughs> He's tripping. <laughs> Going into his brain and forming one with him. What the? He's on they just let him walk. walk. He actually is. Uh, Hugs him. The tree hugger becomes a tree huggy. Oh, oh, it's like, remembering know. when he was stuck. Break free of your past. <laughs> hmm. Yo, you heard that guy last night? He tripped hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he really did go off into the distance. Thought he just passed out or something. He has such a high pitched scream, it's kind of cute. cute. Oh, he actually did find a, a tree? Is that what it made the sticks out of? Like, they find the tree? Oh! Ah, damn it! No! Uh, why? Why a lizard? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wow, looks good. Yeah, and he's got like a, a belt of, of pew pews. Yeah, that's what we see him show up in in The Mandalorian. Yeah. Oh, he's holding his hands. Aww. You're my new bestie. <laughs> it's like cool clothes, man. He's like, you. Oh, you're gonna make your you own stick. Make... Try not to mess this up, otherwise, we'll put the lizard in your nose again. <laughs> <laughs> Go get another stick. <laughs> Cool. Are they, yeah, one by one they're joining in. That's so cool. Yeah. Even the, the chief. leader chief is going to join. They've done a great job showing the culture of the Tuscan. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. This is beautiful. Yeah. 
I also want to clap. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Good job. Nice. Discussion. Discussion. That was a very enjoyable episode. I really yeah. like that. Huts are cool, though. Not huts. I still don't like huts. Tuscans <laughs> are cool. We have a lot to get through. Yeah. yeah. Really yeah. At, the, at the very beginning, I think the thing that we all wrote down, Order of the Night Wind. Night yeah, wind. it's Night Wind. Expensive assassins. Mm. Mm. Apparently paying more for the name. Yeah. I can tell why. Those shields look high tech. The stuff yeah. that they're using in battle formation. Mm. Um, individually, they're not slouches, but Fennec's also a master assassin, so... Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, um, what did you guys think of that whole interrogation scene? I thought it was funny, for yeah. the most part. Oh, where they dropped him in the rancor pit, and mm-hmm. he's like, ah, it's the mayor! How did you get a rancor down there? Because it was a big deal that Re- Jabba had a rancor in that pit. Yeah. And they're not even native to this planet. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I brought up earlier in the episode that the petals felt bare, and I, I still kind of feel that way, but yeah, they're establishing themselves still, so I get that. Mm-hmm. It's just, even when um, his previous major domo was running the place after he Java died, you saw like lots of people there and it was kind of mm-hmm. a party in there. It just, I don't know. I, well, I, I don't really see even people who operate the well, door. Well, he has a know. staff of three. Three right now. Yeah. And also, he's kind of bent on ruling respectfully somehow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think if he had a different mindset where he wanted the litter and the pomp and circumstance yeah. that he would be recruiting people a lot more. Mm-hmm. And then he'd probably have people pining after him and, you know, mm-hmm. sucking up to him. Amazing. Yeah. You're so good. Yeah, I don't mean like he has to like, you know, like as a party, like Jabba and his guys. Oh, yeah, mean, I know. I just mean people. People, you know, Because yeah. you're a criminal warlord mm-hmm. yeah where, where are your guys yeah you know yeah i i think that's part of the the problem is he doesn't have people on his side yet he's fighting for dominance like he's trying to take over mm-hmm. and of course here's our first obstacle is these huts that mm-hmm. want to cl- state claim or whatever mm-hmm. um but yeah, I think it's it's kind of supposed to emphasize the fact that he doesn't have anything. That mm. he's basically just going to use his bare hands to build his empire. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, speaking of those hosts, there's something I wanted to check. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, it was him. Because I thought I recognized him. There was a bounty hunter that used to be in Legends that I barely knew anything about him. I just remember going to the Bounty Hunters Guild wiki page at one point. Looking at all the bounty hunters. And I thought, man, it would be really cool if there was a Wookiee bounty hunter. Because I mean, he's so strong. And there was. Yeah, yeah. And he was like this ferocious barbarian like Wookiee that everyone was terrified of. He was bigger than your normal Wookiee. He was also black for some reason, like his fur. Yeah. And that was unusual. And it was just really cool. Yeah. It's a Kirsten, I believe. Black Kirsten, they call him, on the wiki page. Mm. But yeah. Really interested to see him. Yeah. I, honestly, I, yeah. I'm, so, I'm really glad with how they're... Um, utilizing legends like the even though they said legends is no longer canon, mm-hmm. they're still using the stuff. Yeah, they're picking well, and choosing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I, that's <coughs> it's a it's a weird discussion to have sometimes with other Star Wars fans, mm. but you know, canon simply means it is confirmed to affect the current story. You know, it is a mm-hmm. part of this movie line. Mm-hmm. It not being canon doesn't mean that it couldn't have happened. Maybe not being canon does not mean that it doesn't have impact on the story necessarily. Because mm-hmm. there are plenty of Legends things that go into what Boba Fett is doing right now, you yeah. know? Even though it's not necessarily what exactly happened, they do take from it. Yeah. Also, the, the whole mayor scene, that conversation, mm-hmm. um, I took the ending there as a win, where the mayor, where Bubba, Bubba was like, um, I'm going to take this reward as, as the a tribute, tribute that you should, should have brought me. Yeah, and then and then later is like, well, as I am here for your pleasure, as you say, it's like, yes, that's a win. You ad- you admit it. Anyways, um, <laughs> <Okay>. yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it's kind of was it like a fight they were having of who who's in charge here. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, him giving him tri- a, a reward for bounty hunting for returning his night wind that was mm-hmm. supposedly hunting him. Mm. And I don't get his argument that he wasn't the one who sent him. Like, I I, I don't I, I I mean, he's he's like go to Garza's sanctuary to find out, and all he found out was that there were huts coming. So was he just trying to appease the huts by trying to take out the bounty hunter and saying, oh, yes, I sent an assassin to kill him b- before you so you can, um, because he's probably afraid of the huts or something? Um, honestly, I was a little confused by it as well. Yeah, I think we'll <laughs> probably get more 
information because I don't I'm not sure if they meant for it to be clear uh. hmm uh, yeah maybe I actually watch that back again but yeah so the guy was like his justification for killing him was they're not allowed to operate out of hot space oh this hot space mm-hmm. yeah Tatooine is in hot space right that I that's why I was confused as well because I, I, I but I thought that was just me you know I don't know what the boundaries are maybe well, I'm confused but I thought Tatooine because like there's Narshada uh, with the hut palaces on actual Hutta which is their main planet but I thought Tatooine was a part of hut space and that is why Jabba had his palace on Tatooine maybe I'm wrong I guess but maybe he's just a crime lord who went to Tatooine because he did what's his name uh Bubba did say that it doesn't make sense that the twins would take an interest in Tatooine. Mm. So it means it's like a small fry thing that's just the kind of there. Yeah. But at the same time, Jabba wasn't just a hut. He was the hut. He was a huge in the crime organization hut, I thought. Mm. But maybe there's more to it. But something interesting that the what that the um, Fennec said when talking about the twins mm. is that they're huts, you can't kill them. Right. Mm-hmm. Need I need permission. Permission. Gonna need permission. What's that about? Mm. Permission from who? Permission from the hut people? It's gotta be hut council. Hut council. A council of some sorts. So I, I figured that would be like the next um, mission, so to speak, mm. to go and negotiate that a reason to kill them. I don't know. Because I, I remember from the Clone Wars TV show, there was a, um, one time that they had like a syndicate meeting and there was like lots of different huts that were on holograms. So I assumed that was like the very upper echelon that they every once in a while they talk with each other about issues. But I'm, at the moment, I'm just assuming it's kind of like the mafia with made men. Because you could be like, if you're not Italian, you could be an associate, a very powerful associate of the mm-hmm. mafia. And they'll protect you and stuff like that. But if a made man of the mafia does something and he deserves to die, you can't just kill him. Otherwise, you're just dead. Mm-hmm. You have to ask the guy above him, can I kill him? He did this. And he'd probably say yes, but you don't just kill him without permission. Mm-hmm. So I think it's something like that. The, something else the mayor said was running a family is different from being running a bounty hunting business or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I guess he was talking about... Because, I mean, is Bubba doesn't have a family going on, but is he just thinking about like the crime lord business running a family? At first, I thought he was talking about, you know, running a crime family is harder than being a bounty hunter. But mm. then when the twins showed up, I assumed he meant, no, the actual family of, like, Jabba the Hutt and his extended oh. cousins. Like, it's a complicated mess and you're stepping into it yeah. because they want this. Got it. That would make sense. <laughs> and also, so I thought that by being the Daimo, he was the Daimo of the planet. I guess not. It's no, just Mos Espa. It's a Mos Espa. Mos Espa. Mos Espa. Yeah. Espa. Not even Mos Eisley. <laughs> Not even Tatooine. <laughs> Wait, Tatooine is the planet, right? Tatooine is the planet. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was just a, a city in the planet. Yeah, and then he goes into the back to pod and starts dreaming. Mm, and then we're that's where we left off, right? And the whole show, the whole rest of the show was the dream. Yeah. Um, which was like more than half. Of yeah. The show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, right, right before we get there, though, um, I just really like the impressive show of the litter and stuff like that. Wait, the guy with the drum has the easiest job. Mm-hmm. Be the guy with the drum. <laughs> so they're like. <laughs> yeah, Why did he have like, humans carrying them? It wasn't human. It was human. They were humans. There were some humans, but mm. they were aliens. Uh, uh, yeah, they they looked like the sand, the bad guy sand people. I don't know their race, but those guys are pretty common. Mm. Like, there's a lot of them. Mm. Spikes around their head. You see them in almost every gang in um, <laughs> Star Wars video games. Really? Mm-hmm. And also, we saw um, they focused on the Trandoshans as we were coming in yeah. towards yeah. the mayor's place. Trandoshans like. The hunt. So maybe they'll start respecting what's his name first. Bubba first. Bubba first. Mm. And remember, it's also the Ocean guy was the leader of the Merchant Guild's representation for the area. Mm. So the Merchant Guild of Trans Oceans is pretty powerful. So that was probably like a couple of them that were chilling in front of the mayor's house. Yeah. So yeah. They're like, mm. oh, look, he's coming through. He's actually showing up. Mm. So yeah. then to the dream. Mm-hmm. And we see that they're more accepting of him. They're teaching him how to fight. Yeah. Or to do the dance. Um, probably both at the same time. <laughs> yeah. We see the desert drive by. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I wrote. Desert drive by. Uh, the train. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At first I thought it was like some kind of a sick shooting gallery where like, hey, you want to shoot some Tuscans? Like, they're not really people. <laughs> yeah. And just drive by and just shoot them or something. But well, No, they much. were just I, trying to protect their route. I think that they were still doing that because like, how f- you see how far away they are. Yeah, from that's the what I, that's what doesn't make any sense. Like they're trying to say they're protecting their route, but they they can go faster than the Tuscans. 
Mm-hmm. The Tuscans ride Banthas. <laughs> yeah, it's just Tuscans um, in the Star Wars universe. They're like legendarily terrifying oh. in that they're ra- in they they raid and destroy anything that comes near them that has value. Mm-hmm. Like these guys were just minding their business, but there's yeah. probably like a preemptive strike from their point of view. So they're yeah. trying to like be show them, pu- yeah. like what is it? Be dominant, show their dominance. I mean, we saw mm-hmm. earlier. I mean, not sorry, not le- earlier. Later, that they were able to like snipe those guys out of the train. Going mm-hmm. through, so they are fully capable of doing that. Yeah. Better aim than the stormtroopers. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the leader did mention that his his people, his tribe specifically, were didn't raid people. Oh. They don't kill for a living or something like that. Yeah, this he said that others have resorted or survived by killing and stuff like that, but they just do their own thing. Mm. Yeah, so that's the thing. The Tuscans are always portrayed as. Not portrayed as, but usually it's a situation where, you know, it's a very difficult language or, or whatever. They're very aggressive. You don't, there's so many different tribes. You could walk up to one and he's willing to talk or you could walk up to one and you just get shot. Yeah. So it's like, it's better just to stay away from them. So in their point of view, it's like, okay, establish contact and pay tribute to go through with what? <laughs> they're uncivilized barbarians. Yeah. You know? So, Water. Yeah. So B- Boba just did them a huge favor. Yeah. yeah. They they actually recognize power in the area. Now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I'm crime lord, I'm taking that deal. You don't know how many Tuscans are out there. Yeah. I, if I can establish, you not only will leave me alone, but you protect me as I go through. Yes. Yeah, that is fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I like how um, Boba was so like sure of himself. Like I, <laughs> after seeing him get beat up by the Tuscan so bad I was like I wonder how much strength he's still yeah he's gotten back but then he 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 redeemed himself in that mm-hmm. bar there yeah. and took out all those bad guys smack the guy up with that rifle like, <laughs> yeah yeah he's like oh yeah I'm supposed to shoot with this yeah. <laughs> and he took all the speeders <laughs> yeah at first I was like wait so why did you beat them up you're just gonna take the back but he took all of them so yeah. okay that makes sense yeah I want to know why those people st- stayed in the bar. Why did they stay in the bar when they Maybe saw all they, these people come in? Yeah. And they were clearly uncomfortable. Yeah. I Just mean, leave. Well, it maybe they could Maybe they couldn't. That's the only thing I was thinking. Like, maybe they are aware of them. It's, they seem like the guy especially was, like, fed up. So it seems like it's something that happens. And maybe somebody has in the past tried to, you know, run away. And they just take set on them or something. It is a little strange that it is a bar in the middle of nowhere. I was thinking that too. It's like you but come it's Tatooine. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's Tatooine. But yeah, it, in real life, it does happen where you know there's people. They, it's their spot where mm-hmm. they go there, they hang out, and then some rowdy crowd comes in for some reason. They found a new bar from their perspective and mm-hmm. start messing up the place, and someone gets mad and fight, and someone ends up dead. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> And then we, is it the lizard time? Well, I was going to, no. Time? Um, <laughs> Bubba brings the speeder and is like, this is my gift to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, these are mine. <laughs> these are mine. <laughs> She's like, I'll teach you how to use them. That was a fun uh, montage of them learning how to, like, jump from speeder to speeder. Yeah, that's Because cool. you always see in Star Wars people just jumping from, just casually. Mm-hmm. And that now you actually see it's actually hard. Yeah, it takes practice. There was training time behind that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was fun. And then uh, they had a cool spar with with the um, the awesome Tuscan fighter, where is like he did the oh, thing yeah. where it's like the thing flies up and then roll and catch, catch. it and then yeah. it's, it's trip you. It's like a steal a master of you. I'm still sir. better. <laughs> I especially you could see that when he. Or she ended up going into the train and like taking everybody yeah. out. That was great. That mm. was good. Yeah. But yeah, then he sets up the toll and yeah, then toll we... black melon. Yeah, we learn names are black melons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we have the lizard spirit walk. <laughs> it's uh, will guide you. Goes up into like, nose. It's like that uh, time from what is it? Uh, the Matrix where they inject that thing into his belly button. It's oh. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Legendary. <laughs> yeah. So lizard uh, enters nostrils, mm. uh, takes over brain. I like spirit walk. I like it when he, when he came back. He was like, I thought that was a part of the dream. <laughs> uh. yeah. He's like, I think I ate him. He's <laughs> like, sorry about that. You're not getting him back. <laughs> 
But yeah, he he finds a uh, Joshua tree, mm-hmm. bring, <laughs> takes branch, mm-hmm. spirit walks back. So we saw a lot of flashbacks there to Camino in his past with his yeah. dad. Apparently there's still quite a bit of pain there with his father. Mm-hmm. And obviously the Starlight Pit, probably yeah. the most horrifying thing that could happen to a right? person. Right? Yeah. Can you imagine? Like, you're not only stuck in the stomach of a, a giant creature, creature, but you are underground and have to dig up. Under yeah. sandy ground. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. In a claustrophobic suit that granted you've been used to for your whole life but yeah. still my gosh nightmare fuel yeah and he has been having nightmares yeah which i wonder why the dreams keep coming back if he went through that spirit walk and stuff like that it's supposed it seems like it was supposed to be a f- mind freeing experience yeah mm-hmm. so it's strange that he's coming back to many no. nightmares yeah mm-hmm. but yeah so there's been a lot of uh people were complaining about the way Boba's been because uh, Boba Fett in Legends could be a bit more brutal. Yeah. And so people were feeling like, okay. He's too soft. Not just soft, but it, the, you know, kind. Uh, the complaints I had about not many guards, he's walking around himself, doing anything different. Like it just seems like a different kind of person yeah. than people are used to. But with this episode, I think it kind of vindicates, not vindicates, validates why he's like that. Mm. He went through that spirit walk and the message seems to be he broke free of his past and he's choosing something else. His father was a bounty hunter and he was a bounty hunter. Mm-hmm. He's choosing, I'm no longer a bounty hunter. I'm going to be something more. Mm-hmm. And in his world, that is leveling up in the crime world. Yeah. And also, he's went through this whole thing with the Tuscans and it was all about respect and understanding and yeah. territory. Mm-hmm. And now he goes back and it's like, I'm going to be the new guy in charge, but I'm going to rule with respect and it's about territory. It's about territory. Mm-hmm. Him walking on his own two feet, that's him showing off his strength. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're right. That's very insightful, sir. Mm. Mm. Mr. Analysis. <laughs> and then they, they give him robes, which new is what trip. we see him... Uh, yeah, new trip. We see him enter what's his, the Mandalorian, Mandalorian with. with him. Yeah. 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 It looks really cool in this scene. Yeah. It I looked, loved it. I, I appreciated it yeah. much more. Yeah. Especially since we've seen him in absolute tatters. Yes, for the whole first and second episode. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very curious where we go now because the thing is the two storylines that they've been showing are going to diverge heavily here. The only connection between the two right now was they're both on Tatooine and we're seeing how he got to where he is but mm-hmm. now he's going to have to leave the planet to go get his gear back. So are we going to get a time skip? Or are we going to see what he did right after the events of the Mandalorian? Mm. Maybe he saw something else. Well he also has to find Fennec on Tatooine. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Didn't he meet Mandalorian on Tatooine? No. No. He was trailing him. Oh. So what I can't remember and then what he episode meets he... Fennec. He, he was trailing Mandalorian. Oh, he Mandalorian finds for... Fennec there mm-hmm. on Tatooine dying, right. And, and then, then he new... makes her a new torso. <laughs> I saw an interesting comparison of, like, I, they showed, uh, like, Jango Fett and then Boba Fett from the movies, and then now it's, as time goes on, he loses more and more pieces of his armor. <laughs> because this Boba Fett is actually missing some pieces of gear from when, in the movies. Yeah. But someone was saying that it's kind of showing his evolution. Like, Jango Fett was in a time of warfare and stuff like that. So he had a full battle suit of armor mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Then Boba Fett needs to be more mobile because he's a bounty hunter. And then now he's traveling all over the place. So. Yeah. Crime boss. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. And the, the only other thing I have is, um, we mentioned in the reaction, is we got a lot of um, fun, I guess, perspective of the Tuscan culture, which yeah. was yes. cool. That was really nice. It was really well done. Mm-hmm. Um, really makes you feel it and, mm-hmm. and, and respect them. Mm-hmm. They've shown Tuscan stuff in some comics in the past, like with uh, Darth Crate, if you guys know about that. But it was never, not on this level. I think this is the best the Tuscans have ever been portrayed. Mm. Cool. Not that there's like a culture to respect in real life or anything, but mm-hmm. in that this feels like a, something that could be yeah. real. Yeah. And it also felt like something worth being interesting. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah, definitely. I felt a culture there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I think that's it, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Guys, if you like your time here, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And remember to check out the Patreon in the description if you guys want to help us out or you want to see the uncut versions of the reactions. I'll see you guys next time on React Backed City. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, bye. A special thanks to our patrons, CC Flips, Jason, Jesse, Alex, and John. <laughs>